Hello, it's Rachel and I'm here for my January floss tube update. So I did say I was going to put out a planning video and I haven't, obviously. Um, the reason for that, well, it just takes so much time is basically why. I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm doing magical stitches again this year and it's Disney themed. Uh, it was Harry Potter themed last year. It is it's a different experience obviously um, and it's not competitive which at first I was like I'm really going to miss that because that was one of the reasons that I enjoyed that group so much and why I participated last year but I've adjusted and I guess I'm in competition with myself now to complete as many of the challenges as possible so yeah I haven't done the planning video because there are so many different prompts and challenges and elements to the group this year that it was a little overwhelming at the thought of getting all of those projects out that I think I might stitch. So I'll probably just go through them as the year develops and you can see um, what I intend on stitching on. So to start off the group then, um, we had to reclaim the parks and this was a group um, activity, group challenge, where you had to collectively stitch a certain number of stitches. So I think there was one that was like 10,000 stitches and then 40,000 stitches and the one that we're currently work, still working on, um, which is the last part to reclaim, is I think 400,000 stitches. So that's quite a big one. Um, the intention um, well, I thought the intention was that they all needed to be completed in January at first because they said January on the challenge, but apparently they're to last the whole year, which is why the stitch count is so high. Anyway, all of that to say that I used my New Year New Start for all of those um, parts to the challenge. So this was the project that I chose. It's Mareshka Daffodils. I changed the fabric, it comes with um, 16 counts, that's why I got fabric and I just changed it out for a 32 count in practically the same colour so I've made quite a lot of progress on it I think. Um, certainly a few thousand stitches in there and I've started some of the back stitch not done all of it yet but I am going to back stitch as I go and I think it's turning out really well so very happy with that one and the fabric colour it was one that I got from so and so and it was described as blue grey but I think I've looked for it since for a, another project and I can't find any fabric called blue grey on any other website but I've seen one called slate blue which I think is the same the same one so I might take a chance with that and see what it is. I wish they'd put the item number on things so that you knew what you were buying because I, I think a lot of retailers just named them whatever colour they want but anyway so that was the first one um, and then the homework activities. Week one, um, it said to stitch a project that has the same personality trait as a character and there was a list of about five characters. Um, I still wanted to work on my daffodils so I just did penalty stitches for that. So I used the same project for week one. Week two, um, I did a lot of penalty stitches again with the same project but for one of them so the first prompt was a project containing an animal with human characteristics and for that one I chose my um, cute witch which is this one here there's quite a lot of glare on there uh, this one I started last year it came from Etsy it's by Nadista Casarina and this one is coming on quite well too 
So at the end of last year, I think I just put in the kitten's eyes, but nothing else. And again, I've used this a few times for magical stitches now, apart from that week two homework. So I think I'm just about halfway, but I've done no back stitch at all on this one. And I keep telling myself I'm going to do it. And then I don't because I'm trying to get the stitches in. I don't count the back stitch as a general rule for magical stitches because I just find it too difficult to count. Um, so I just count the crosses and then I'm always against time to get the crosses in. So the back stitch isn't done. But it is only a small project so I don't think that will be too much trouble at the end of the project on that one. So that was week two. I only worked on um, that one for the animal with human characteristics and I just said it was you know it was dressed in a witch's hat so it's kind of humanized. Um, yeah and the others were all the Mareshka daffodil project. Week three then you needed the first prompt was a project you were enabled to start by magical stitches or other virtual group and I chose this one here it's a new start again it is called Star Cats and it is from Etsy it's by Vitalia Mischuk another Russian designer and I saw someone on YouTube with this pattern and I can't remember who it was I did go back and try and look who I'd been watching but um, by that time too many people have gone by so it was enabled to go into my wish list by somebody on YouTube and then the monthly challenges on magical stitches enabled me to buy it because you needed a project with a moon so that is what I purchased for that because I didn't have anything with moon this is my start um, I dyed the fabric with some RIT dye because um, I'd seen on one of the mock-ups a similar colour so I thought it'd look nice on a kind of like tea dye effect. I, the colour I used was um, camel I think in the RIT dye. So there's the little moon and um, the stars don't really look like stars yet because they're not backstitched but it's a really nice project, really nice colours and as I say it got used for that prompt and then the monthly challenge as well. Um, then the second homework challenge of week three was something you think is delicate or dainty and I did the daffodils again. Then something that relates to the great outdoors, like daffodils again. And something that could be hiding the trap door, I did the cute witch. Then week four homework, there was a rhyme posted and I can't remember what it was. But um, I basically used the same project for all of these except one. So the first one was to do with the rhyme. Then the second one you had to stitch something. Well, the second, third and fourth, you had to stitch something that um, began with certain letters. And the project that I started was, well, let me get the package first, was this one. This is Dimensions Simple Treasures. So the first letters were F, M or E. And I think I said E for enjoy because the word enjoy is on there. Um, you only had to choose one of them but it fitted E and then there's a map behind the sun so I had the M for map as well on that. Um, I think that's all I said for those. And then the second lot of letters were Y, I, R or S. Well there's loads of things beginning with S. There's a sun, there's sand, there's sea, there's shells, seahorse, starfish. So that did for the second lot of letters and then the third lot of letters were T, P or N and there's 
one, two, three, four words begin with T. So there's take time to and treasures on there for T. So that one got it got some work for that, um, but I used it for some other prompts as well. And this is the progress I've made so far. And this is turning out really nice. It's one of those that when I first started stitching it, I was kind of like, mm, it's okay. And then I put the back stitch in and it really um, came to life. So that is Simple Treasures. Oh, and I changed the fabric on this as well from 14 Count Ada, which came with kit to a hmm, Jobalan or Brittany. Not sure which. I think it might be Brittany. Lugana. So that was that one. And then the last prompt for week four was stitch your most boring project. And I knew instantly which one that was going to be. It's not necessarily that it's boring because I don't find any of it boring. But it has a lot of the same background colour, which is this one. Still doesn't look like anything. This is Dimensions Kitty Litter. And... Yeah, I talked about this last year. It's on the um, kit fabric, which is a 18 count ivory ada. I'm just trying to get the package. That is what it will look like when it's finished. Apologies for the glare. So, I think I said when I started this one, it's going to be very slow. It really, it hurts my hand to stitch because it's five strands of floss um, in all the backgrounds. There's, there's some more of these same colours through, this is the basket handle that I started through here. There's a lot more coming down here. And then it only moves to four strands there's two sections that are four strands and then I think three strands over here. But the main stitching of the kittens and the basket is two strands, which is why I caved and started on the basket. And that's the start of a little kitten's face. That's where his ear goes. So that's that one. I did want to get some stitches in it because it's going to sit there otherwise because it's just painful to stitch on. So that was week four and then week five has just finished. It was a short week. So it was stitch something you would wear or find at a Halloween party. And I did the cute witch again because she's a kitten witch wearing a witch's hat that you would find at a Halloween party. So that was homework. And then the January extra credit um, so these are the ones that you stitch over the month. You can't do penalty stitches and you need 300 stitches at least in each of them. There's five different prompts. So the first one was contains either sun clouds, stones or wind. And I did the simple treasures because it's got a sun in there. Then project with the moon was my um, little star cats. Related to a hurricane, um, I did the Dimension Simple Treasures again because hurricanes are formed over water and that pattern has um, the ocean on it. So that was that one. Then number four was related to the ride It's a Small World, which is a, a Disney ride. So I had to, I've never been to Disney, um, I had to YouTube that ride and take a look at what it was to know what to stitch and somewhere on the ride is if you don't know it's basically a ride that goes through different um, countries so one of the scenes in the ride is China and I started because there's a little panda in the ride I started this one it's an anchor kit um, called Little Panda. So 
and glare again. And I chose this, I mean there was loads of things on the right that, that would have fitted it. It had like loads of flowers and um, building structures, there was all kinds of things that would have fit. But I chose this one because it. I also needed this one for some of the yearly challenge prompts um, to do with China and then to do with black stitches, so it has both. So I started that and... Again, I've changed the fabric. It's on 28 count fabric. And I decided to stitch it 3 over 2 because of the amount of black in it and usually the coverage is not that great. So I'm using anchor, th anchor threads, which anchor black is supposed to give better coverage. But um, yeah, I just wanted the black areas to actually be black and not showing the fabric. So I think that's doing pretty well. So that was another new start. So that is everything that I've worked on really. Oh, the fifth prompt was to watch a movie, either Bambi, The Fox and the Hand or Meet the Robinsons. It was had to be set in Canada. They were the choices they gave, obviously the Disney movies. I watched Bambi and cried like a baby, <laughs> even before his mother got shot because I knew that was going to happen. But I stitched my Mareshka piece and I only managed about, well, 107 stitches because I was watching the movie. Um, yeah, that's everything really. I have bought a few new things, I can show you those. I was supposed to be doing Stitch from Stash, but that has not gone very well so far. Um, so, let me see. Oh, actually, I did miss, I missed one project that I've been working on, which, because I've worked on it today, that's why. Um, Fairy Guide. This was my New Year New Start last year. So January 2019 and I haven't touched her for a while but there was a pop-up event for this weekend. It started yesterday when I was at work but I've stitched today for this event and put in 700 stitches on her. So here she is, you can kind of see her a bit better. So I finished her wing on this side um, there was quite a lot of the purple colours that needed doing and the blue outline and then I've done quite a bit on her dress as well but there is a lot of dress to, to go so it's nowhere near finished I think I've got um, two more complete full pages of dress that are completely more or less full so long way to go on her right purchases then uh, so this is one I got this from eBay wanted it for a good while and I keep seeing people stitching on it so I got it for a reasonable price it's the winter geese by dimensions it's on see 16 count grey ada so I might swap that for 32 I think but yeah it's really really pretty which I hope the camera's picking up the snow if you've not seen this pattern before I'm sure that's all French knots so that will be fun but it looks really effective then I also got this one which is Dimensions again, it's called A Chew and I just think it's really cute and there is one of the prompts on Magical Stitches that is, some of the prompts are a little way out and hard to fit things and there's there's one that says Stitch Something Ill it's on the yearly challenge prompt section and I'm going to use him because he sneezed all his spots off so I think that means he's ill that's I can't think of anything else that could possibly fit that one. Anyway, um, this one has been on my wish list for a good while. I'm not sure about the fabric though. The fabric is a Rustico fabric. 
And I don't think the design pops that well on it. I don't know. But I really like the colours and the kind of watercolour effects with the splashes of colour around it. So I may change the fabric and opt for a plain fabric that doesn't have that mottled effect in it. We'll see. And then this one is by RTO. I think it was a new kit last year for them. Not sure if there's a oh tender briar flowers it's called. So I really liked that one. And then this one is by MP Studio, I think. And this again has been on my wish list for a while. And there was only one left in the UK. So I got that one as well. So that is everything. Um, I actually think, in fact, I know I've got two other kits um, that I bought in December. They were my January purchases, that's why they're all together, and I forgot about the ones in December. But I guess I can show them next time or when they started. One of them is a an old anchor Maya kit of um, mermaids and I know the same patterns available on heaven and earth designs because I've seen somebody stitching it but I'm never well I won't say never but I'm unlikely to stitch a heaven and earth design because of the confetti which I don't think I'd enjoy and the amount of time it take so I have plenty of other projects so I've got the anchor version um, I've never seen it for sale anywhere but I saw it on eBay and I had to buy it and then the other one was an RTO one as well of a little puppy dog but anyway I can show those um, next time so I hope you enjoyed watching I hope everyone's getting loads of stitching done and you're keeping nice and warm it's freezing in the UK right now we haven't had any snow yet well we had a tiny little bit of sleety snow the other day but nothing to uh, write home about really so I hope it stays that way all right I will see you all again soon thanks for watching goodbye